What up, YouTube? It's your girl, Drinker B, and I'm back with another video. Um, this video is basically about what I'm feeling right now and my thoughts. Since the death of my baby girl, Carly Amora Rose Lamb. Time seemed like it was so slow, going by so slow. While I was pregnant with her, I was so excited and ready to meet my daughter. Lord knows I was. And I spoke on this, but my daughter did something that nobody here on earth could do for me. She changed me. She gave me a better outlook on life. I was prepared to be her mother. I was prepared to be her mother. I'm still her mother no matter what, no matter when, and no matter the time. And I believe, you know, because I've really been in the days, I haven't really been able to, like, really function properly. But Monday, she will be a month. Look at how fast this time has flown. Even though my days have been slow, real slow, like slow motion. I have had my days where I have cried I've had plenty of days where I have cried, and it's only the beginning, because it has roughly been almost a month. I'll never forget my daughter, never, ever. She was my first really and truly my first love. My thoughts that I have right now, I'm just going to put it out there. I am 24 years old. I'll be 25 next year in April. I have completed high school, graduated, got my diploma. I have been to college. I have lived a college life. I have turned up. I have been drunk to the point of falling on my fucking face. Drunk as hell. I have had my time and my fun in college and I'm working on myself. I'm trying better to speak more positivity and realize all the good things I have done in life. So yeah, I have graduated from college twice, once with my diploma and the second time with my AS degree in early childhood education. Yay me. I am currently, well not right now, but next year, 
I'll be starting my extern for medical assistant. I started school back in 2017. And um, you can go back and look back at my previous videos of me while I was pregnant. It was very emotional because I wasn't sure how it would turn out with me in school and, you know, but I completed those semesters and I sat a semester out waiting for my baby. But my point is saying this, next year I'll be graduating in May. I'm claiming it for my daughter. And with God's grace, I will do this. And my point of saying all of that is, I felt like, well, I feel like I have had enough time to live. I've lived enough. I've had my fun. I'm 24. I waited long enough. Sure enough, when Carly, when I found out I was pregnant with her, it was so unexpected. But it doesn't matter. It didn't matter. I'm her mother. I was ready to be her mother. And September 7th, 2019, 18 a.m. I gave birth to her but I gave birth to her and that's when I found out my baby's umbilical cord was wrapped around her neck and as y'all may know I got closer to God while being pregnant with Carly. I got real close with God. That's why I say she was just destined to be my angel. And I know I'm probably all over the place, but y'all have to kind of like excuse me right now because it's just so much that I have to say. But my thoughts right now, regardless of what anyone thinks, going back to the fact that I'm 24 and I feel like I have lived enough, I have had enough fun, I have went to school once, I'm in school again, I'm almost to the finish line, graduating next year because I'm claiming it. I know how to save. I'm capable of holding my own. I may not have my own place to stay in, but it does not matter. Because I know that I'm capable of keeping house. I've done it before. I was out once. That's more experience. But I'm 24. And I'm single. And regardless of what anyone thinks about my situation and the fact that I'm 24 and single, it still does not change the fact that September 7, 2019, when I lost my daughter, that was a very heartbreaking experience. I had a perfectly normal pregnancy. Everything was good. Everything was great. I got everything that I prayed for with my daughter. I prayed that I would have a healthy baby girl, beautiful, with hair, looks just like me. And God did all of the above. My baby was beautiful. She had a head full of hair. My daughter looked just like me. When you're looking at me, you're looking at my daughter, Carly, Cairo. I am her, she is me.
That day was very heartbreaking and it's heartbreaking right now. And it might sound crazy, but despite all the things that I have gone for me in my life, I'm gonna finish school. Some people will be like, it just wasn't your chance. I hate hearing it. Because now at this point, even though I'm 24 and I'm single, I know it's backwards, but I'm ready to be a mother. I know I'm a mother, excuse me. I know I'm a mother, but physically I'm ready to be a mother. I'm ready to nurse a child. There is nurturing in my heart. What I'm just trying to say is, and I cried enough today, I cried enough all this time, and I'm not done crying, but I'm strong enough to be able to do this video right now, so that's why I did it. But what I'm basically trying to say is, I just want another child. Because I want to be a physical mother. I don't care how hard it is. I don't care I have to wake up late nights with my baby. I don't care if my daughter or my son in the future will have a million doctors visit because children need to be taken care of. And that's what I was gonna do with Carly. I'm ready physically to be a mother. I felt like the rug was snatched from underneath me. So I say my prayers. And I know that God is not going to give this to me until he thinks I'm ready or if it's my time. But I felt like my time was then. And I feel like my time is now. I feel like my time is now. I'm ready to be a physical mother. So I say my prayers and I pray hard. Lord knows I pray hard on it. And I don't feel that it's not normal for me to not want to be a mother physically. Another baby will not replace Carly. It will not. But I just feel like if I had a child here with me, a second child, my rainbow baby, it'll fill the hole that's in my heart right now. And I really feel like my second child, whether it be a boy or a girl, I will see so much of my first child in that baby. There is nothing I want more than to just be happy and to have a second child. I pray that the Lord blesses me with a second child and I pray that he works fast. I know what God can do and I have seen him work miracles so I pray that he works this one out for me and the best part about it is I know that I can bear life and be healthy while doing it and capable of birthing out a completely healthy child Carly was healthy she was beautiful and she was big God did all three things for me. I asked for a healthy baby. I asked for a beautiful baby. And I asked for her to have a head full of hair. 
And he did that. So why is it wrong that I pray for a second child and I pray for it soon? I pray for it real soon. And you know, some people be like, girl, finish up next year and graduate in May. Okay, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. I owe that to Carly and myself. And with God's grace, I'm going to do that. By any means necessary. But while I'm doing it, I'm praying for a second child. And I know I'm single, but this is a different world that we're living in. This is a very different world that we're living in. But I pray that the Lord sends me my rainbow baby. I don't care how hard people tell me it is to raise a child by your own. I don't care. I was... I was prepared to raise Carly on my own. It did not matter because I know what I'm capable of. I'm a natural. I just want another child to fill that hole in my heart and to celebrate the life of my angel that's in heaven right now. Carly touched everybody in this house. When she left, everybody felt it in this house. Everybody is still feeling it. We was most definitely ready for that little girl. I have a lot of support for my family and I'm not saying that I'm leaning on them because I take care of myself. Now I know that if I fall, I can call on my family and they'll help me without a doubt. But I take care of myself because I'm a woman and I'm independent. I just pray that the Lord sends me another baby. Some people be like, girl, you ain't even really lived yet. You ain't had no fun. But I feel like I've had enough fun. I'm 24. And this might be funny. But I feel like 30 is knocking. I'm not getting any younger. I went from a year ago not wanting any children. Yeah, I'm trying to do my YouTube. And that was my dad. But I went from not wanting any children to having one child. Though she's living in heaven, which is the best place for her. To now, I just want to multiply. I was going to give my baby all of my love, and I still am, even though she's up there. I put all my trust into God, and I put all my trust into Carly. 
and that's where all my love is going. I split it up evenly between God and Carly and my family. And to those who really and truly deserve my love. All of this has really changed me. I ain't never been perfect. But my baby, she was too perfect for Earth. And you know, maybe God did this to change me. The Lord placed Carly in my life to bring me closer to Him. When I got pregnant with Carly, the Lord said, come my child, come, let me fix you. And ever since then, I've been walking with the Lord. So is it wrong that I pray for another child despite the fact that I'm 24 and I'm single? No, it's not. It's not. And of course, I've been praying that the Lord will send me a nice man. Someone who loves me just as much as I love him. Someone who will love me for me and I love them for them. I've been praying on that too. But it's just, took from me. And I just feel like to feel that hole in my heart that another baby will help me. My rainbow baby. I have a lot going on for myself. I have a lot going on for myself. I could be a teacher if I chose to. And soon I'll be a certified medical assistant. I'm claiming it. All I have to do is just walk into these things. I just want another baby. To celebrate the life of my first, who I'll never forget and who I'll always love. I make sure that her sibling knows who she is. And I'll be sure to treat her sibling the same way I treated her while I was pregnant. And the same way I was going to treat her if she had been here. I must have watched a thousand videos on people who have had stillborns and now they cope. And when I go back and I look in their videos, they have all had a child or children after they're stillborn, rainbow babies. So I'm praying that I have mine too. I'm praying. And something else, you know, I look at their videos and I see they all have boyfriends, fiancés, or husbands. But that's YouTube. 
and they're gonna make it look good because that's the standard. There are strong women here every day. I'm not saying that it's right, but they're raising children on their own and they're doing a damn good job of it. My sister KB London to be exact. three kids and she's holding it down and she's a great woman and she has a lot going for herself my sister a strong woman but yeah my point of saying that is you know YouTube is gonna make it look good cause that's the standard you know but this is my channel. I've changed my name on here. But it's still me, Drika B. And on this channel, I keep it real. Here in my city of Cordell, Georgia. Some girls don't have that fiance or that boyfriend or that husband. I, since I've been through this, there have been like plenty of people that have reached out to me that have had stillborns. Some chose not to have another baby afterwards. And some did immediately after us. Some of them had husbands, fiancés, boyfriends, whatever. But I'm focusing on those that didn't. I don't know what they're going through, you know, or whatever. The ones that don't, you know, have that support. But I pray for them. I pray for all of the people that have had stillborns and that, you know, might have, you know, support, you know, like the father figure. But I want to focus on those that don't. And like I said on this channel, I'm keeping it real. I'm praying on my rainbow baby. I'm not saying that I don't want the perfect man, you know, to father my next child. If you've never been through this situation, then you won't really know how I feel. Nobody probably know how I feel because simply they're not me. But this is what I feel. Husband, boyfriend, fiance, etc. If I have that, that'll be great. But if I don't, it's 2019 going into 2020. And I said what I said. I want another baby. Nobody knows what I feel right now. Nobody will probably understand why I feel like this and why I feel like a baby will help me. Because y'all not me. But I appreciate y'all for letting me speak. Because I said what I said. And I'm protected by an angel, my first child, my first daughter, my first everything. And I'm stronger because I have God. And I have a lot of faith in God. 
Matter of fact, I got Never Lose Faith tattooed on me before I knew just how much faith I would actually have. It's right there, Never Lose Faith. And I'll never lose faith. I said what I said. I'm done.